I'm Thomas Baldrick here at ASH 2014. The handsome gentleman next to me is Dr. Daniel Pallier. He's from the University of Colorado, Denver. Thank you for taking some time out of your conference. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's talk about this phase two study. I believe you have some good news to present here. What's this about? Yeah, so we're, we're pretty excited. This is a concept I've been working on for several years. Uh, we're combining two drugs that we think are, are, are quite active in acute myeloid leukemia. This is a trial for uh, relapse and refractory patients, and they're receiving a um, sequential combination of azacitidine, the hypomethylator, um, with lenalidomide, um, which is a, a multifunctional drug that um, uh, is active in many blood cancers. We give it at, at very high doses after the azacitidine portion, and um, we're finding that in this uh, very difficult population of patients with relapse and refractory disease, that the tolerability is, is, is good, um, and uh, more importantly, there seems to be uh, some good efficacy. What is the need and the risks uh, with these patients using this combination? Right. So, I mean, you know, these patients with relapse and refractory AML have very few options. So these are the patients who have, you know, failed multiple therapies and aren't candidates for standard, more intensive regimens. Um, and so, um, you know, the, the, the risk really uh, for people in this situation is death by disease progression. Um, and so um, we're trying to do everything we can to prevent that from happening. There are certainly side effects to this regimen that uh, we are becoming much more, much more uh, familiar at, with and adept at treating. Um, and there, you know, there are some real toxicities, um, but our goal is to prevent death by disease progression. What's most significant in the findings you have here for Ash? Yeah, you know, I, I think, I think um, the, the most significant finding we have is the, is the overall response rate, um, which is, you know, we're, we're, this is just an interim analysis we're doing now, um, but it looks to be somewhere between 40 and 50 percent. And for a population of patients uh, that has this difficult disease to, to control and has failed this many regimens, that's actually quite promising. So I'm, I'm hopeful that, um, that we'll, you know, we can finish the study, finish accrual, uh, see what the final numbers are, and, uh, and I'm optimistic they'll hold up, and this could represent a real option for these patients. So you see this combination as having a future? I, I hope so, yes, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of other uh, great therapies that are coming online, many of which have been presented at ASH uh, uh, this year, um, and there's other great things in the pipeline, but I think this, this regimen will have a, a place, yeah. Congratulations, Dr. Pave. We, we invite you back to update us as, as the need arises, okay? Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure.